Very sad news here in Los Angeles over the weekend. Um, legendary, towering figure in, in journalism here, Jonathan Gold, Pulitzer Prize winning food critic, died. And he was only 57. He died of pancreatic cancer. And he only was diagnosed like a couple of, three, two, three weeks this ago. In July. Early July. Yeah, early and he died over the weekend. And uh, why he's relevant for our purposes here and what the flick is that there's a really lovely documentary about him called City of Gold, which came out a couple of years ago. And here's a clip, take a look. Restaurants and food experiences that other people weren't writing about, he gave it value. It takes great storytelling to elevate food criticism to what Jonathan does. David! Jonathan was the first Blitzer Prize winner for food criticism. He brings you to his table. I do all the stuff you're supposed to do. I always reserve under different names. How you doing? Good, how are you? I never know when Jonathan is coming. I have a whole series of throwaway phones just for reservation. Boom, he's here. This makes it seem as if he is, um, or he was anonymous there, but for the last several years of his life, he was very much a very visible, well-known and very revered figure here in Los Angeles. And, and uh, a lot of this film is about the little restaurants that he championed and he put on the map, or like taco trucks. And, you know, he, he was brilliant and he was well-read and he had this um, intellectualism and an erudition about him, but also a, a real egalitarian streak to the the places he chose to write about and the types of food and the way in which food can make this city seem more united when it is so vast and so disparate. I hope I'm right to say that he he, he sort of, uh, he busted a, a, a bubble in the stereotype of critics so eager to trash. He didn't like trashing at all. What mm -hmm. he wanted to do was celebrate, find a place that he liked and talked about it. And, and it's in that documentary and it's referenced almost everybody who praised him. He wanted to expose Los Angeles to different to the whole city. We all live in our little neighborhoods in Los Angeles, and we we burrow into them. Uh, and he wanted to expose the richness and greatness of this city, and I think it is the greatest city in the United States, and expose people to it and let them experience it through food. Yeah, he was an LA guy, went to a Beverly Hills High School, went to UCLA, and yeah, I was in love with uh, visiting every nook and cranny of the city within his his old beat up pickup truck. And uh, we have a lot of friends who are friends with him and yeah. his his wife. Yeah. No, and I, his his wife has worked with Dave and me, and I mean, this, I, I'm not really ready to talk I'm about sorry. him yet. But I will say this: there was an episode of the Brady Stanellis podcast where he was talking to author Michael Tolkien, who wrote The Player, and they were talking about the sort of impossibility of writing the great LA novel because LA is so disparate and has so many different neighborhoods and cultures and whatnot. And they said the one writer who really understood LA, understands LA and all of its essences is Jonathan Gold, right. because he understands what we eat. So this movie is on, yeah, it's streaming. I watched it on Amazon Prime last night, it's on Hulu. So please go seek it out. It's similar mm -hmm. to Anthony Bourdain, he really championed the possibility of food as, as a connective force between people between cultures, yes, this, it's not a warts and all documentary at all. It's very celebratory of his life and his career, but please go check it out.